Welcome back, I'm Dan, the Dinosaur Drawer, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw Torvosaurus. So I'm going to be using this reference image right here, but I'm also going to be using this as a reference image, which is a drawing done by um, Rock Hansbury, one of my most faithful subscribers. And I was so impressed with this drawing that he posted on my Dinosaur Art community on Google+, Plus that I decided to do a quick little um, tutorial on how to draw this Torosaurus. It's really cool, and this drawing will be kind of quick, probably around 10 to 20 minutes. So yeah, get out your pencil. I'm using my mechanical Graph Gear 500 um, mechanical pencil, an eraser, and you can pick any type of pen. A ballpoint pen will work fine, probably better than this. This is a pigment liner, water-based, water-resistant um, felt-tipped pen. I got a few of them here that I'm probably going to be using during the video. So I've got your supplies and let's go draw. So the first thing we're going to do is put a little skeletal outline with our pencils. So yeah, we're going to have the head right about here. Have like an oval shape for that. Have the mouth opened. Have a line, a curved line like that for the neck. The line makes another mountain, like so. For the torso, right here is where the shoulder is going to be. For these long, dangerous arms of Torvosaurus. It's got three claws. And the claws almost look like they're backwards in this picture, but that's how the artist drew them. And yeah, of course we're going to have a, a body here for it. It's got a very graceful form. So it's not really a hulky dinosaur like Tyrannosaurus Rex or anything. This leg will be mounted up like this, bent back. So I'm just doing like a skeletal outline first. So we'll do the real refinement and stuff with our pen. Have the tail looking something like that. Then have this leg supporting the entire weight of the Torvosaurus. Then we can draw a little bit of ground, I guess, right about here. And then, right now, we're ready to start. So get your pen and let's start putting in some refinement. So the first part of this tutorial is going to be tackling the head. So they make a nice bottom line there with our pencil. It's going to use a little bit more pencil so we don't make any big mistakes with our pen. So I will be right about there. It's got a little bit of a crest. Then the bottom jaw is almost like, looks like it's dislocated here. It gets thinner at the end, like so. And to make sure we have to make sure we have it long enough at the bottom jaw. Like so. Let's erase this line. And now is where I'm going to get out my pen. It's going to be a 0 0.05 pencil pen. So we make a curve following the bottom line there. It's got one line coming up here. Put these little dots. And the curve line goes down like that. And here we're going to go to a little bit of shading. I'm doing some hatch strokes. Have the nose right about here. This is more of a simple drawing, which is nice because I've been doing a lot of complicated drawings recently. And I would like to just do a simple theropod tutorial. So. I'm so happy Rock posted his picture because we're also going to be using that as a reference image. Because I love the way he does the like cross hatching type technique. Let me show you guys the picture again. As you can see on the neck here, he does a great job with the shading. So we're going to be using that. For, we're going to be using his picture as reference for that part of the video. See, so I make a line here for this structure in front of the eye. So continue there. Give that a little bit of shading. Let me switch to a 
0.1 pencil. Shape it's a little thicker. This line will come up here, like so, and you can uh, make some strokes with your pen to give it more of a shaded look. Okay, for the eye, we're going to put in the middle of the eye there, the pupil. Make it nice and dark around the eye. Put some wrinkles. Then it's got another cavity back here. And I do apologize if you guys think that this drawing looks shrink wrapped, but that is how the drawing looks in this reference image, so I'm just gonna keep true to the reference image I'm using. So I'm gonna put some scales there, the ear like so. And now we can add in the bottom jaw. Yeah, so basically just trace your pencil outline. That should be quite easy. I'm going to make this a little longer. I'm also going to give this some of this shading. Put in one scale right there, a few. Maybe put some lines, like so. And now we can put in the teeth of Torvosaurus. It's got really knife-like shaped teeth. It's got a lot of them as well. So they stop right about there, and this is where we're going to have the muscle that opens and closes the jaw. We're going to have it right here. And then also we're going to put in the bottom teeth. So yeah, Torbosaurus is definitely more of the slashing, had the slashing type jaws. Not like, it didn't have bone crushing bite like T-Rex, more had the Allosaurus type teeth and set of jaws. So it would go after less armored prey. So more of a duck build type dinosaurs. So yeah, there is the head. Now we can move on to the neck. So yeah, for the neck, we're going to start at the top of the head and just bring our pencil down like this, a slight curve. We want to make it look nice and smooth. Then also take your pencil from this point right here. And I'm going to draw it back like so. It has a very lizard-like looking neck. And the first thing we're going to do is add some wrinkles around here because it's got a very, the head's really tilted upward and the mouth is wide, so it's going to cause a lot of wrinkles in the neck. And here's where I might take a look at Rock's reference image. So he did a bunch of wrinkles in different lines. The lines are more for shading purposes than than wrinkles, but it also looks really cool because it gives the dinosaur a lot more of a, a lot more texture, I'd say. So you can add a few on the top here, like so. And of course, we're gonna erase the pencil marks after our pen dries, but it's important to be careful not to smear your your pen marks, because the eraser can smear the pen. So we're gonna have some of these scales, which will go all along the back, actually. We might as well put in the rest of this line, like so. So put in these oval, like, scales, or stubs, whatever you wanna call them. They got a little smaller as they get closer, and then here we got a few scattered ones. Be sure to make it look organic and random. It shouldn't be too hard. So let's put a little bit more lines here. Now we can add the spikes on the back. 
Let's see, who was the artist of this? I'm just interested. This is copyright by Joao Boto. I don't really know how to pronounce that name. I guess that's the artist. It looks a lot like, uh, there's a famous paleo artist, but his name escapes me. Craig Paul or something like that? I don't know. There's, there's some one paleo artist who likes to draw dinosaurs in this style. Every paleo artist has different styles. My personal favorite, I think, is, for some of his drawings, I, I don't like, but, um, Louis Ray, I love Louis's Ray's artwork, especially of the Tyrannosaurus dinosaurs. So if you guys have a chance, go check out Louis Ray's artwork for dinosaurs. They're quite, yeah, I just love how they look. And then, of course, I love Beanie Draw's way of drawing dinosaurs, which is basically the Jurassic dinosaurs, but I love that style as well. I think Beanie uses mostly pen drawings, or now he's been doing a lot of stuff on his tablet. So yeah, for the arms here, we're gonna, for this inner arm, we'll shade, like so. Get some more texture. Looks like the claws are upturned, it's kind of weird looking. So it looks like the, the claw is the claws are fake pointing upward, which is weird. I've never drawn a dinosaur like this. Here's the reference image just so you guys can see it again. That's what the claws look like. It's got some pretty long claws. So yeah, once you put the claws in, put some scales on top of the, or on the bottom in this case but it is the top of the fingers because the hand is upturned. And yeah, do some more of these strokes that Rock used in his drawing. So yeah guys, I will be doing some more Draft Squirrel the Game videos very soon, so just hold in there. And I will be uploading soon some Draft Squirrel the Game tutorials. Because there are a bunch of dinosaurs I still haven't drawn from the game, and a lot of San Jose creatures as well. So now we're putting these claws, we're going to put in some scales at the top of the fingers, like so. And the elbow. This will be the shoulder right about here. Then we got to put in the torso, which will, which will be mostly hidden by the leg. This leg right here, which is upturned. It's got a massive thigh. This dinosaur probably relied a lot on its speed to be able to hunt down herbivores. So it makes sense that it would have a huge thigh like this. We're going to put in some knee there. Let me switch to an even thicker pen. Let's see, here's a 0.5. Some nice thick lines. So it's kind of hard to do this part, but this will be the heel right about there. Then we're going to start the foot like so. So it gets thinner here and then it curves up and the toes come down. So we're going to put some padding here for the bottom of the feet, the bottom of the toes I guess. Then we're also going to see that little dew claw on the other side there. The middle toe should be the longest, and by the way, there is another toe, but it'll be, it's going to be hidden behind these two toes. And be sure to put some scales on top. Very cool. 
Also put some shading on the bottom, as usual. That looks very nice. Give some more meat to this calf. Let me switch back to Rock's drawing. So yeah, he did a ton of lines, so that's what I want to try and do for this drawing. I'm going to make it a little wider here by opening, making this line a little wider. Knees can actually be kind of difficult to draw. Just sort of make it bump out a bit. A bunch of lines there to give the calf some more shape. Of course you gotta leave some light spots there. So yeah, as soon as I saw that post of rocks on the dinosaur art community, I was like, wow, this is... A this is like one of the perfect dinosaurs to use as a tutorial. Because it's rather easy to draw and nice, simple, and I haven't done one of these uh, poses on the theropod dinosaur for a long time. So I'm having a lot of fun drawing it right now. So you have a lot of lines there. And also for this muscle, which is bulging out there. Have some more texture. Also has some wrinkles here where the leg bends. So I see Rock did a bunch of these like cross hatching lines. Like so. It's kind of a cool cool way of drawing. Like if you notice on the dollar bills how they draw the presidents, at least in American money. It's all with lines, so it's pretty impressive. There's like, all the shading is done by just lines. So yeah, try drawing a president or something on a dollar bill, you'll find it extremely difficult to do it the way they do with the lines. Very intricate. So yeah, the leg is actually looking almost more <laughs> dark and detailed than the rest of the body. So we gotta, yeah, darken up the stomach here. And then also the these plates or studs are going to be colored a darker shade than the rest of the than the rest of the Taurus So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Like so. So guys I'm gonna have a bunch of unboxing videos coming up soon. I'm doing one of our Tezza, so be sure to look out for that one. It's going to be extremely special. And also, I'm going to be doing a review on some different erasers, pencils. And also, if you have something you'd like me to review, just say, you should review this different art supply, because I do not, I'm not familiar with every single piece of art supply in the world, so I would love to discover new pencils and pens and stuff. And for all of you who have mechanical pencils, I hope you are enjoying them. The Graphier 500 has really been helpful in my YouTube career. It's like a perfect pencil for making tutorials with. So here we can just put some lines, I guess. You don't have to put too much lines on the torso. Maybe a few right there. But that looks pretty good for the torso. I'm going to real quick just do a few more lines on the, the head to make it look a little darker. Because compared to the rest of the body, it's looking quite... And the pencil doesn't look dark enough. The lines aren't thick enough. Like one thick line for the bottom there. Looks nice. So yeah, now we can move on to the tail, I guess. Which will be kind of tedious. The tail of dinosaurs is always my, probably my least favorite part to draw because it takes so long and it's very repetitive. See, I make that one long line there. Let me just move my 
camera a bit so you guys can see. So this part may be time lapsed. What we're basically going to do is just continue these spikes there and then continue the stud line all the way across. But also have this line like so. So now really all we have to do is add in the next leg. So for that, we're going to yeah, start up right about here. Remember this leg is holding the entire dinosaur up. We obviously know it's going to be holding it up for only about like a second because it's running in this pose. It looks like it's almost trying to chase down a pterodon or something. See I have the thigh sticking out here. Have the calf. Legs can be really difficult to draw. Have the heel sticking up like that. It's kind of risky as well drawing it with a pen. See, I put in that dew claw. Have one bit of padding here. So this first toe going to be barely touching the ground and the next two toes will be carrying the weight of the Torvosaurus which we won't really be able to see the other toe that well but let's just put it in there like so give these toes a little shading as usual with the classic scales on top of the toes. Continue the scales up like so. And remember this part is going to be quite shaded. But we don't want it to bond too much into the tail and the other leg. So we need some cross hatching here. Which Rock used a bunch in his in his drawing. So I'm really proud of your drawing, Rock. You've really come a long way with your art skills. You're getting extremely good. I think we all are. Every year, everyone, if you guys keep on drawing, will continue to get more and more skilled at art and at drawing dinosaurs. Like, you guys can probably notice how my first drawings were probably not as good as the ones, as some of the ones I'm doing now. Like, this one's not that good. It's just more of a fun, quick drawing, but I have seen that my art has improved year by year. I see it mostly in my portrait drawings that I do of people, because <clears throat> I've really been trying to draw a lot more people recently, and they've gotten steadily better over the years. So this leg is coming along very nicely. I think we should make a little bit more shading here around the feet. So yeah, our Torvosaurus looks almost done. Right now I'm going to add the ground. You don't have to do this. Looks pretty cool in the drawing with no ground at all. Actually, I'm not going to put any ground. I just decided that. I've done that to too many of my drawings. I always put the ground below it, but I'm going to try and do something new today. But I would recommend you sign your drawing. So I'm going to sign my drawing right next to the foot here. Put the date. I usually just put the year. That's good enough. And now comes the erasing part. So we're going to erase our drawing, but make sure not to smear it. So when you're erasing, I would recommend you always go in the same direction. That way you won't accidentally wrinkle your paper, which I have done many a times, where I wrinkle, do this with my eraser, and then it just wrinkles the paper. So just try and go in this direction. As you can see, I have a ring drawing pad. So I'm going to be doing it from left to right. So pulling away from the rings. Because if we did it this way, it would just wrinkle entire paper, then the drawing is not, doesn't look as nice.
Also, don't erase too much. The pen, it'll lose, the pen will lose some of its color and darkness once you erase. So sometimes I have to go back in and just touch up a bit on some spots that might have gotten a little bit fainter because of the eraser. So yeah, here's our Torvasaurus inspired by Rock Hansberry's amazing post. So yeah, if you like this video, leave it a like. If you don't like it, leave it a dislike. Leave a comment on what you'd like me to draw next. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thanks so much for watching.